Hello there, teachers. Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Sadi again. For today, guys, uh, I will talk about uh, sample question and answer uh, responses that I had with Course Hero. Uh, some of my question and answers were already blocked uh, by admin because, uh, yeah, you know, for security purposes but some of the answers i made uh you can i can still see it so i will share it to you so if you will if you're interested guys please don't skip this video please watch this video until the end thank you so much Welcome back to my channels, guys. So again, this is Teacher Seti. So for today, uh, this is a bonus question that I will share to you guys. And uh, the question, this is under subject is writing. So the question is, black man uh, and public space was written in 1986, yet the themes that Staples discusses are still relevant today in the age of black lives matter and the fact that more black men are uh, incarcerated and that any other ethnic group in addition racial and ethnic stereotyping has been on the rise throughout the united states it is not uncommon to hear people uh, tell someone who is speaking Spanish to go back to Mexico uh, even though that person may not be from Mexico or to hear someone to tell a person who is speaking a language other than English to speak English in uh, his essay Staples describes his feelings about being the object of racial fear so have you or someone you know ever been the object of fear or other misconceptions uh, based on prejudice or stereotyping? Um, have you ever been wrongfully stereotyped or prejudiced? Uh, how did you react? Uh, what preconception, preconceptions are, were involved? How did you respond? Okay, so this uh, the question, guys, is for five dollars, and yeah, it was a helpful rating, as you can see, guys. So my answer was the uh, it is the following. So yes, uh, my answer. The question is: Have you have you or someone you know ever been the object of fear or other misconceptions based on prejudice or stereotyping? Yes, uh, I said yes. Yes, I have. When I was working at a business process outsource, I experienced misconceptions based on prejudice and stereotyping. Have you ever been wrongfully stereotyped prejudiced? Uh, yes, I said. Uh, I have many times uh, at the American company I was working with. How did you react? Uh, I reacted in a calm manner because I was working that time at an American company. It was a call center industry. People got, got to uh, get too frustrated when they know they are calling me in the Philippines. So instead of talking to someone in the United States, all right? And then what preconceptions were involved? So customers were telling me that I was not a uh, good uh, agent since I'm from the Philippines and uh, we were talking all of the job taking taking all of the jobs in the United States they also say that Philip the Philippines is a third world country and is uh, it really hurt me having uh, heard this kind of criticisms and then how did you respond so I responded politely saying that some calls are routed to the Philippines but 
most of the calls go to the United States uh, agents. As an agent, we have to follow some protocols. So even though they tell you bad words, you still need to respond. Yeah, in a polite manner with kind words. Yeah. All right. And then my explanation, I have an explanation here. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So working at a BPO or business process outsource was really stressful for me before. There was always preconception about the Philippines when they learned that they are calling another country. So I think race has really been an issue ever since. Uh, I think it is not good since people would judge you because of your race and color and not because of your skill and attitude. To be a successful person would not depend on your race and, or color. Uh, it will depend on your outlook in life. Being an optimistic uh, one, uh, you, you really need to work hard to achieve your dreams. So I hope this kind of prejudice or stereotyping will stop. And that's it. So that's my answer, guys. So it, I hope that this is also helpful for you guys. And uh, just to mind you, uh, just to uh, FYI, guys, I, I ask for permission. Okay, I asked for permission to show my answers on my vlog. So this is okay, guys. No worries. The next one. The next. I have another question here, guys, that I would like to share. All right. So, yeah, the, the question is a very short. Why collaborating with families is important. This is th ages three to five years old. All right, and then my answer is collaborating with families is really important, especially in the early years uh, of childhood from three to five years old due to the following reasons. Both parties have a unique knowledge when it comes to, when it comes to the child. Strong relationship between the teacher and the family builds good emotional health for the child. Number three is a respectful relationship between the teacher and family. So my uh, under explanation, so I explained each, okay, each of my uh, each reason that I have. So for this one, both parties have a unique knowledge when it comes to the child. So family members and caregivers can give some information about the child, uh, his or her em emotional well-being outside the classroom, his or her likes and dislikes so that the teacher will be able to know the child well in case of tantrums. Uh, while on the other hand, the teacher in turn can give information to the family about the child's progress inside the classroom, how well she is or he is learning, uh, her learning curve, okay? And then number two, strong relationship between the teacher and the family builds good emotional health for the child. Yeah, if you allow, if you show the child that both parties trust each other, then you can build that sense of trust to the child as well. This will help establish a good emotional health. And the last but not the least is respectful relationship between the teacher and the family. So both parties can serve as a good role model to the child and how he or she build a good relationship with other people when she grows older. You know, this topic, guys, this topic, this, no, this question is really familiar because uh, I have worked before with children and uh, because since I, I finished occupational therapy, guys, and that, uh, that's it. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. So I hope that uh, this uh, sample and answer and questions are really helpful for you guys. So if you find this helpful, please click on that like button down below and uh, click on that subscribe button. 
and hit that no notification bell. So anytime I upload the video, you will get notified. And uh, we are on our road to 4,000 subscribers. So I'm very happy and appreciative for all of your comments and feedback. If you have any comments, just uh, type some of the, your comments down below, okay? Thank you so much for your time, guys, and have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you.